What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So, as you can see, I've got the artwork laid out for this panel. The other two panels are done drying. Um, I'm going to start doing the airbrush panel before I do the other two. Um, just because it's probably, this one's probably going to take me the longest. Um, so I'm going to try to get this done. This is the one I want it to be like the, the big showstopper for the event. And again, if you guys didn't watch the last video, um, the, these panels are for a charity event for mental health awareness. Um, had a really good friend from school. I grew up with them. We were always out of each other's houses when we were younger. So um, know the guy really, really well. And he passed away last year. And one of his family members went off and started this event. It did really well last year. I did some panels for it, raised a lot of money. I was asked again to do it this year. And of course I said yes. We have 20 days to get these done, or as much done as we can. I told him I'd probably do a few, but we're gonna see how far and how fast I can get these done. Um, so we got this panel. I'm gonna walk you through what I've done so far and how you guys, if you guys wanna try to do this or incorporate this with your airbrushing. Um, this speeds up everything really, really quick. Um, as for me, I, you know, I spent about an hour in prepping this and I got it fully done, ready to be airbrushed. So, let me, so um, I've got my own printer. A lot of things that I do, I do go to like the UPS store and I have them print off images. Um, sometimes they won't, depends if it's got an IP behind it. Um, a lot of printing places will not print off images if it's like Star Wars themed and they're thinking you, you're gonna copy it and it's illegal to do that. So a lot of places won't copy images. So um, I've got my own printer. What I do is I go through and I find a good reference picture um, and then I get it and I save it. And what I do is I use a website called Block Posters. And what this does is it allows you to take an image and it posterizes it for you. So like you see this one, it splits it up. Um, and this makes it real easy if I got to do something really large. Um, because it'll take the sections of the posters and blow it up as big as I need it. Really, really awesome website. Um, the only caveat to this is that it doesn't necessarily do what the picture shows you of how it breaks it up. Like the image you just saw, how it's got the lines going through it. It doesn't do that exactly. Some images it will, but it just depends how big you're going. So you gotta be really careful how you set up your printer. Um, you might wanna do like a few test runs in black and white to make sure you got it right because it'll, um, it'll cut it and print it however it wants to once you hit the print button. So um, usually it takes me a couple times to run through it, get everything the way I want it, but it's better than going and spending $20, $30 on a couple pieces of photos from the UPS store and have them printed off. So this way I can manipulate it and do what I want to do with it. But this website, you just plug, said you plug your image or whatever, and it'll section everything off for you. And like I said, you cannot take this deliberately. It will do what it wants to once you hit the print button. So you got to go through your printer settings and make sure it is 100% the way you want it and go through the previews. Um, like on this one, it didn't get the bottom for me like it needed to. So I've got printed off sections a little bit, little, um, little smaller than the image that I have. So I can go through here and I can actually draw this on at the bottom once I get everything and start airbrushing it. I can actually just draw that bottom part on. So I'm not really worried about that part, um, but I've got it and I pretty much pretty much cut the borders out of it. And then what you do from there is you line it up. Um, you tape it together, line it up, and it makes your own makes your own image just like this. So it's pretty cool. Um, it's really fast. And then after that, um, after you get it set on your panel or whatever you're doing, I take what they call, I think it's pronounced serial paper. Um, you can get this, it's a transfer paper is what it is. You can get this in different colors. I got usually gray, black, and then white. Um, I use white a lot because I paint on a lot of black surfaces, but if I paint on a white surface, I can use the gray or the black. And they sell it in different colors. They've got, you know, like I said, the gray, the white, the blue, yellow, and red. So you can get it in very different colors depending on what color you're using. Um, it's a little bit of a trick um, 
to the airbrush industry that uh, guys have been doing it this way forever. Um, beats freehand in it. it. It saves you transfer it. This is what I'm talking about, this stuff right here. Um, I think it's, like I said, I think it's pronounced serial paper. It's really good stuff. You just stick it, I cut it, and I just stick it behind it. And then you gotta be really careful because one side of the paper is really chalky. So if you put a handprint on it, it's gonna put a handprint on the surface. But like I said, this is just to get it transferred over to where you can start freehand airbrushing everything or, and getting it started. This is just a map. It's not permanent, it's not set in stone, but it's the fastest way that I've seen to where you can actually get an image down. Um, a lot of guys will actually get the picture and they'll turn it over and they'll get like a pencil and sharpen it and they'll just smear the pencil lead all over the back of it, which is the same idea of this. And then you transfer it over and what you do is you go back through and you just trace out every little detail that you want and it goes through that serial paper and it's got like a powder on the back of it um, on this. Like one side's got powder and one side doesn't and it transfers that powder over like kind of like a pounce pattern if you will um so i went through got it all got it all traced out the way i want it and this is what i'm working with here and it'll kind of show you how it maps everything out like i said you got to be really careful because it will transfer any type of smudges or anything which is not a big deal because this stuff you can wipe it off real easily it's not a big deal it's just there for a map and get you started airbrushing. So I'm gonna pull this off, if it will. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this to the side and we're gonna start mapping this thing out. Um, so since we're working on a black surface, I'm gonna go through and map everything out in a very, very light, like white. And then I'm gonna work my way up to the grays and everything. And then once we're done doing that, I'm going to start adding little bits of color because this will be a color portrait um, of this gorilla. Um, so that's going to be in this video. You're going to see me mapping this thing out. So let's get to it. Let's get started. It's going to take a while to do this. So it might be in two different sections. So, But I'm going to put some white in my airbrush, dilute it, start spraying, start mapping this sucker out. Thank you. 